Hello, Phil here at Digital DJ Tips. A quick look at Mixed In Key 6. And there's two things I want to show you here. The first thing is if you haven't looked at Mixed In Key for a while, I want to show you some of the changes that have happened in the last few versions of the software. But there's one big change that I want to show you as well. And if you don't know anything about key mixing, this, this can be a good little introduction for you. So what we're looking at here is a list of tunes in my music collection that I've loaded into the Mixed In Key software. And I've hit Analyze, and it's given me this result here. This is the key in a format called the Camelot format and that's what this wheel is here. The tutorial is very good on the Mixed In Key website and it allows you to mix tunes together without knowing anything about musical theory and more often than not hit a really good key mix which means that everything stays tuneful and it sounds excellent. I'm not going to explain how it happens because you can read the tutorial. But what I want to show you is some of the things in this software which if you've mixed in key the old way and if you have got any musical training it's going to show you a little bit more about how it works and maybe comfort you a bit in that the software is doing something that's going to save you a lot of time. So here we have the keys. It also gives you the energy level of the song which is something new. It's kind of like got an algorithm in it that picks up on the hi-hat patterns and generally how much how much uh, it pumps along to give you uh, again something else another tool to mix by these aren't rules you're not meant to only mix in key and only mix songs that have the same supposed energy level but it does give you an easy way of very quickly slicing and dicing your music when you're DJing uh, and this stuff carries across into Mixed In Keys mashup and flow software as well flow is their DJ solution where you can see the energy levels and indeed the keys of various parts of songs as well as uh, various songs so you can find good places to mix. So this is um, something that this software has over and above the key mixing software in most DJ applications. It's slowly creeping into DJ applications. You don't get it in Serato at the moment by the way. So if you use Serato the mixing key really is your one of your only solutions out there at the moment. But even if you do have key mixing in your software there's some things here that you wouldn't find on that. This is a big one though. This is something that really made me smile. And if you've ever keyed your music the old way, if you are old school, if you sat down with a piano keyboard or another kind of keyboard, put a piece of vinyl or a CD in your player and hit play and then sat there trying to work out the key of the music, then this is going to make you smile. And if you haven't, get ready for a bit of an education. Now I've loaded Curtis Mayfield's Move On Up into this track, into this deck here. And this is how we used to key music. We'd get a piano and we'd play around and we try and find a note and in this case it's that one and mixing keys already guessed it that's why it's in grey and it's the note that starts the verse and chorus so you can hear that that is the right note you know generally if you're going to boil key mixing down to its absolute basics the first note at the beginning of a verse or chorus the one that underpins it the one the bass often plays is generally the starting note of your key and then you only have to work out whether it's in major or minor which is there's two variations of scales used in keys so let's play a whole chord so that does sound really good if I was to play major by the way it's not right and the, the, the notes that make up the, the, the dominant chord are That is the minor chord based around the root note of B, which is this one here. You don't have to know that, by the way. Mixed and Keys already guessed it for you. But having the piano keyboard here is good because you can sit here and if Mixed and Keys got it wrong, you can find the note that you think the song starts. Let's stop the song. Say you, you've got another song loaded and you think it just hasn't keyed it properly. You can get this piano keyboard up and then play the song along and play and say, no, actually, this seems to be the note. I just click this change here. And you can use minor chord to see whether it's one of the two variants uh, starting with that root note. Now, it doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry. Turn that off, Mixing Key still does a great job of guessing the key of most of your tunes. But if you are an old school person who's looking to use Mixing Key as a shortcut rather than a replacement for your musical knowledge, that should comfort you a bit to show you that A, it kind of knows what it's doing underneath and B, you now have some control over it to very quickly get in there and correct it if it's made a mistake on any of the tunes you're using. So that's it. It was just a quick look at a couple of the features of Mixed In Key 6, which is available uh, as of now.